This is the first time that we've had a data set this big of data, in what we say is in the wild, where we have people with their daily activities like carpenters and constructors, bakers, and like dog walkers, artists. So it just covers like a really wide range of occupations. Most of the data sets that we have right now um, are YouTube videos, it's like videos from the internet. And then, um, and then there's a whole bunch of little data sets of people collecting kind of choreographed human actions, like surveillance videos and things like that. You know, in the future, you want robots that will be able to uh, learn from people. But in order for them to learn from people, they need to understand how people are like manipulating things and how, how objects change. At CMU, we have a large team working on different parts of the uh, projects. So different people working on like data collection, uh, data de-identification, and also some research questions and implementing the baseline models. And so my job is to coordinate the large team so that we can achieve our goal. CMU contributed to about, in total, about 500 hours of data. Uh, it, it, it's real life data, so it's, re uh, it's reflecting uh, the real human experience in daily life. And I think it's very cool uh, for uh, computer vision researchers in the future. Yeah. yeah so one thing special about uh, CMU Pittsburgh's data is that uh, our data, most of the data, comes from um, the uh, special occupations like carpenters, artists, and uh, these data uh, is not usually found in uh, average uh, daily life of average persons. We don't have the capacity to. Uh, analyze or work on all 3,000 hours of data. That's too large, that way too large than our computing uh, capabilities. So we worked on a subset, we call it a subset or mini sets of the data uh, that uh, I think it's around 20, 200 hours of data and to work on some of the clips selected from the 200 hours. I think that's enough for us to analyze some of the research problems that we propose and we want to, uh, that we want to investigate.